Hello, this is Seth from Northland Dodge from Prince George, and today we're taking a look at a 2016 Ram 3500 Laramie Crew Cab. Under the hood we have a 6.7 i6 Cummins turbo diesel engine and a 6-speed automatic transmission. Let's take a look around. It is a little hard to see out here because it's a little dark, but this is in the black forest green and it looks very nice in the sunlight. It's a nice subtle green. It looks really cool. You have the <clears throat> chrome accents up here with the Laramie front and you do have some tow hooks right down here as well. Help you pull anybody out of the, uh, the ditch this um, winter season. You have your park or your sensors right there for your park assist. And then it also does come with bifunction halogen or sorry, bifunction projector style headlights right there. And you do have the fog lights just down there as well. Now it comes on a pair of 18 inch Firestone tires and they look awesome. There's still tons of tread left on those guys and uh, the rims are really cool as well. You do have heated exterior mirrors and they are in uh, a kind of chrome, which is really nice and does have the, um, the turning signals on them. So people will be able to tell where you're going and keep you nice and safe. They are tow mirrors. You got some uh, chrome accents along the side and it does also come with a six foot box back here. You can see that you got the Laramie right there, four by four and the Dodge for the, yeah, the Ram. You got your backup camera right about there. Looks very nice. Now it is a bit snowy cause uh, well, it's snowing outside, <laughs> um, but it is a six foot box and it does have the box liner on it, which is really nice as well. Keeps it nice and safe. Won't get all scratched up for ya. Okay, we got our keys here, so let's jump on inside. So we got two presses to unlock, one press to lock, and then you do got two presses of that guy for your remote start. Very nice. It'll keep it nice and warm in the winter, and it'll uh, help you so you don't have to go outside so early in those mornings. Let's shut her off. Let's open her up and jump on in. So on the door here, we do have electric mirrors, windows, and locks all right there. Plus, you do have this guy, this button here that does uh, bring in your mirrors so you don't have to get out and pull them in. You also got a bit of storage here. A bit more down here with a cup holder so you could put like a water bottle or something down there. It is a bit snowy because some snow fell in here. But we do have the controls of our seat so you got seat memory here if you want to preset it. You got your lumbar support and then back and forth and back and forth. You also have the controls over your lights here so you press it in for your fog lights. You got daytime running lights, you have your low beams, your fog lights, all of that stuff and your automatic right from there. Plus you do have controls of your windshield wipers, your turning signals, and your high beams right from here. And this guy is the con is a uh, for your radio. It's a radio control from your steering wheel. So this one actually does change the channel. And then the other one on the other side, it's identical placement, uh, does change the volume. Okay, let's start her up here. So we've got the keys in the center console. You just press the button with your foot on the brake and it will start right up for you. Just turn that down a little bit. Now in the center here, we do have our speedometer and our odometer as well as our fuel gauge. And we got our exhaust brake gauge and uh, all that stuff in the middle. Now you can change that up, so you got your speed, you also got your vehicle info, you have your fuel economy, you got trip A and B, you have your trailer tow options right there, you also got your audio, you have stored messages, screen setup, all that stuff right from your steering wheel here. So you can control that all right from here, really easy to do. You also have your voice recognition, your call out button, Horn in the middle, of course, and then you also have right here your uh, cruise control options. This guy is your gear shift, and of course, when you are in reverse, you do have your backup camera, and it is telling us something's behind us and in front of us, because um, I think there's some snow on the bumper. This guy here does control your uh, four-wheel lock and your four-wheel low and all that stuff. Now, here you do have an 8.4-inch touchscreen display, so you do have AM and FM as well as you have Sirius XM, which is always really nice, and you have a year of Sirius XM when you do purchase a vehicle. You also have a media tab here if you do have a phone or media device hooked up through USB, Bluetooth, an SD card, or if you have it uh, hooked up through an aux cord. Uh, you also have heated seats. Let's turn those on because I'm cold. You got vented seats, heated steering wheel, you got your uh, mirror dimmer, your backup camera, cargo camera, all that stuff. Your cargo camera lets you look in the back there, see if anything's happening. You can see if uh, anything you're hauling is flying around or whatnot. Then you also have heated and uh, vented seat for your passenger. You have your apps here, you got your climate here, you can change all of your climate options right in there. Then you also got navigation here so you can see where we are. We are on rec place of course. And then you also have your phone options if you do have one hooked up. Down here you have your volume up and down, screen off, hazard lights, back button, you got your tuner and browser there. You have your AC, your circulation, your heat up and down, it is a dual climate so you and your passenger can have uh, different amounts of heat. You also have the power over the uh, fan there. You got your auto and your off, and then you also have your defrosts there. Your trailer guy here, you got your, <clears throat> sorry, your uh, traction control, your tone hall mode, your exhaust brakes, and then your uh, front and rear park assist. Down here, 
you do have your heated seats, your vented seats, your heated steering wheel, and then the same for the other side. A bit of storage in here. This guy is your, uh, you can like put your phone in here and it stays right there. Then you got a bit of storage here. We got the keys in there as well. You have uh, a little bit of uh, charger there. Uh, cup holders there. And then in the center here, you do have your armrest, but it does double as a storage container. And in here you have uh, some coin holders. And then you have an SD card slot. And you have your, um, sorry, your USB and your aux cord and a USB plug-in in there as well. You can also lift up the bottom part. And there's a very deep one, and you can hold all sorts of stuff in there, CDs or whatever you might want to. Over here, you do have a dual glove box. So you got the one up top, and the one down below that will have your owner's manual in it. Up top here, we do have uh, the control over our sunroof and over the back window, plus universal uh, garage door opener. Now, I'm not going to open those windows up because I'm really cold, but we got that guy there, and that other one opens up that guy right there. Very nice. Lots of light being let in. Okay, let's take a look at the back here. Whoa, it's a bit frozen. There we go. <laughs> so we got control over their own uh, windows here. You got kind of like this wood accenting here. A little bit of chrome. You got the RAM logo here. And then you also have a bit of storage here and a bit more down here. It is all leather back here and very soft, very comfortable. They do also have heated seats and a charger there. Now there is a lot of room back here. You can pull this guy down. I'm slipping on the ice. There we go. Pull that guy down. And you got some cup holders and armrests there. You can also lift these guys up and you got some storage right underneath there. On the other side, there is a, uh, a sub, which is really cool. Listen to some music, get some bass going. And then also what you can do is you got these guys here. You can lift these guys up just like this, fold it down and those just lay flat like that. If you need to put something down to keep it flat, uh, you could do that. You also got some storage in these guys here, just like that. You can pull this guy back down. Well, that does it for my walk around for you, the 2016 Ram 3500 Laramie. If you guys want to come and take a closer look for yourself or take it for a test drive, come on down to Northland Dodge in Prince George and talk to one of our sales specialists. Thanks for watching.